So, son, what would you like for Christmas, huh? Jim Schwartz 5. What? What's going on? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and you know we back with another one. Couldn't leave you guys that long. So um, we do have the vi the tape in. This defense is even worse than I thought, y'all. This was hard to watch. I'm not gonna lie. So if y'all do like you know content like this, please make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and trying to grow the family. So the first one that I chose was basically the first play of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this just shows basically everything that was happening in this game. Just poor tackling, poor gap control. Luckily, it wasn't a huge gain. Um, Mills did get a little bit of a piece of them. But if you like, yeah, we'll stop it right here. If you just look, like, Mills gets the position a little bit. He fights for the position and then just flails out an arm. I'm not sure what he was thinking he was going to stop. I don't know what he thought that was going to stop. He flails out his shoulder and thinks that's going to bring down Cam Akers. And Cam Akers is a big boy. And that's what you're going to see all game. The offensive line just won the battle all game against his defensive line also. Our defensive line got beat up. And it's going to be the theme of this video, unfortunately. Now, the amount of man that I saw played in this game was just appalling. It was ridiculous, especially against a team that's continuously motioning. In this play, you'll see, again, a motion from the wide receiver. And this one was in the second quarter. This is just bad play calling. This is the defense just not being disciplined, just biting on every single motion that we saw. And this includes, again, the defensive line. But the main person I'm going to be looking at right now is Nathan Gary. Nathan Gary had a slew of mistakes th during this game. Um, here again, you know, there's a million... It's easy for me to sit here and say what's best for him to do in this situation. Obviously, he's thinking on the dime. But he's got to know where he's at. He's got to realize he's probably not going to get to that guy. You got to get your hands up way quicker. Become a, almost a defensive lineman when you realize you're not going to get that sack. And try and, you know, make a play on the ball. This is a great play called by um, Sean McVay. Sean McVay did great this whole um, game. The Rams offense executed amazingly. Can't take anything away from them. But I want to talk to whoever, you know, was Jim Schwartz, you know, advisor as a youth who, who gave him the wisdom that if, you know, at first it fails, try, try again, because this needs to stop. This sticks defense. We're going to look at scenario. I'm going to pause it on the scenario for a second. It is third and seven. We are down by five points. We can get off the field here. This is pretty early in their drive. This is, I believe, could be a three and out. Um, and we all know what happened here. So we run the play. And you see, we're about, we're a good six, seven yards off the, off the ball. Our linebackers are, I should say. Uh... And then you run the play and you see everybody backs up. So now everybody, as far as our linebackers and DBs, we're behind the sticks. So what do you do in Madden? What do you do in real life? What do you do anytime that you see something like this as a quarterback? You dump it off and you hope that your guy can break a tackle, get one yard. So stop it right there. We look at right where he's at. So the first down is approximately the 30 yard line, right? He's catching it at the 29-yard line. Our guys are not going in on him until they, he is already at the 29-yard line. Now, kudos to these guys. They made a tackle all too often. We have seen this happen in different ways where the guy breaks a tackle and the drive continues. Now, we all know that, you know, Sean McVay, he, he had a gutsy call and he went for it on fourth down and he got it. If we play better defense... If we don't let them get six yards on a seven down, you know, a seven yard down, who's to say this isn't a, a, a three and out? Who's to say we don't get the ball right back? Now, mind you, don't get me wrong. I'm not giving the offense an out on this. 
You know what I'm saying? They made a mistake. That's the reason why they even have the ball. We should be up at this point. But as a defense and as Jim Schwartz, you cannot keep doing this to us, man. This sticks defense is not working. And it has not worked ever since he's got here. We can name off a bunch of big plays that this defense right here has given up. I mean, it's a p obvious passing down. You know, some teams would run it, you know, with the lead, kind of be a little conservative. But there's nobody in the backfield. Jared Goff is not going to go on a QB sneak for seven yards. This is just idiotic. This is the dumbest play. But this, this is our team. This is our defensive coordinator in a nutshell. If you need seven yards, we'll give you six. And pray to God that you don't have the guts that Sean McVay had. This one right here basically sums up the game for me. He is not going to give up his old ways. He's not going to conform to the new NFL. Jim Schwartz has not been working out for the Philadelphia Eagles. It is time for him to go. Now, this last one, I know you're probably just thinking, Joe, you're, you're picking the same play over and over again. No, no. They just ran the same defensive play over and over and over again. Again, we need to talk to Jim Schwartz advisors. This was terrible advice. But either way, this was just a huge um, run that basically solidified the game for the Rams. This defensive line just got ragdolled. I figured I'd end the video with this one because this just kind of really showed the root of the problem. Yes, Jim Schwartz is a big issue in my opinion. And, you know, yes, tackling obviously needs to get better. But this front four, we pay a lot of money to. And to see this, you never want to see it. I mean, they're all, all out of the play. Down to Brandon Graham, down at the bottom of your screen. Fletcher Cox wasn't even in the play. Um, so, you know, this was just the story of the game, the picture of the game. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? And this was the picture of your game. Just our defensive line getting no push, getting no type of traction, and losing literally every down, it felt like. So yeah, and that's it. Basically, we just need to get that tackling, gap control, get that communication right, and Jim Schwartz needs to stop doing the same thing over and over again. I wanna know what you guys think. Who do you guys blame? What do you guys blame? What do you wanna see done differently? Other than that, you know what it is. It's fly equals fly, and we out here. Peace. Eagles!